Today, we will answer a math challenge given by one of our followers. And it says that this is the hardest algebra problem. And here's the question. Given these three equations, a plus b plus c equals 4, a squared plus b squared plus c squared equals 10, and a cube plus b cube plus c cube equals 22, then the goal is to find the numerical value of a raised to the fourth power plus b raised to the fourth power plus c raised to the fourth power. Pause this video right now and see if you can answer this question because I will show you two different solutions to answer this in 3, 2, 1. Alright, so given these three equations, the goal is to evaluate this expression a raised to the fourth power plus b raised to the fourth power plus c raised to the fourth power. So again, our follower, it says that this is the hardest algebra problem. So let's see. So now, we will solve this using two methods. The first one is using algebra method and the other one is using the Newton sum. So now let's begin with our first method which is the algebra approach. So to start with, let's call the first equation as equation 1, this equation 2, and the third one is equation number 3. Now to start with, let's have the equation number 1 and let's square this equation. Because if we square this, maybe we use the second equation. So now, if we square this, we have something like this. And if we expand the left-hand side of our equation, this is just a squared plus b squared plus c squared plus 2 times ab plus bc plus ac. Now, 4 squared is 16. Now, we know the value of this using the second equation. This is just 10. So 2 times ab plus bc plus ac is equivalent to 6. Divide both sides by 2 we get that AB plus BC plus AC simply equivalent to 3. Now, let's call this as our equation number 4. Now, what we're going to do here is to multiply equation 1 and equation 2. Now, let's do that. So, if we distribute this, if we multiply the left-hand side of our equation, we have something like this. And the right-hand side is equivalent to 40. Now, we have a cube plus b cube plus c cube, and using equation 3, this is just 22. So, this expression right over here is equivalent to 40 minus 22 or simply equivalent to 18. Now, let's call this as our equation number 5. And now, what we're going to do is to get the product of equation 1 and equation 4. Because if we multiply a plus b plus c to ab plus bc plus ac, we get something like this. And notice, this expression right over here is the same thing, is exactly the same thing as our equation number 5. So we can say that this is equivalent to 18 as equation number 5. And the value of 3 times ABC is equivalent to 12 minus 18 or simply equal to negative 6. Divide both sides by 3, we get that the value of ABC is equivalent to negative 2. Now, let's call this as equation number 6. Now, we don't care to equation number 5, so let's replace this with equation number 6. Alright, we have now equation 1, 2, 3, 4, and 6. And now, to continue... Let's have equation number 4 and let's square this. Because if we square this, we get something like this expression right over here. And let's focus on this expression. Because we can factor out this nicely as ABC multiplied by A plus B plus C. And take note, we have a value for ABC which is negative 2. And the value of a plus b plus c, which is positive 4, as given with our equation number 1. So 2 times negative 2 times 4, this is just negative 16. And the value of a squared b squared plus a squared c squared plus b squared c squared is equivalent to 25. Just add 16 on both sides. And now let's call this as equation number 7. 
And that's all we need to find the value of A raised to the fourth power plus B raised to the fourth power plus C raised to the fourth power. So let's get the second equation and let's square this. And if we square this, we get something like this. A raised to the fourth power plus B raised to the fourth power plus C raised to the fourth power. This is what we need to find. And we have a value for this. This is our equation number 7. And this is 25. So this is just 2 times 25 equals 100. And 2 times 25 is 50. Now, subtract 50 on both sides to get the value of A raised to the fourth power plus B raised to the fourth power plus C raised to the fourth power. And sure enough, we get 50. And that is our answer to this question. Therefore, Using the algebra approach or the algebra method, we get that the value of this expression is simply equivalent to 50. Now, how about our second method? This is, I think, the shortcut for this kind of question. So let's do this. Using Newton's sum. So here's the concept of Newton's sum. And to make it simple, so let's assume we have a monic cubic equation x cubed plus bx squared plus cx plus d equals 0. This is monic because if we have a coefficient, let's say a, this a is equivalent to just 1. All right. Now, in this cubic equation, let's have the roots of this cubic equation as a, b, and c. Now, let s sub k be equal to a raised to k plus b raised to k plus c raised to the power of k. So S sub 1 is just A plus B plus C. S sub 2 is A squared plus B squared plus C squared and so on and so forth. Now using the concept of Newton's sum, we can say that S sub 1 plus 1 times the coefficient of X squared B equals 0. Continuing this pattern, we have S sub 2 plus B times S sub 1 plus 2 times C equals 0. Continuing this pattern, we have S sub 3 plus B times S sub 2 plus C times S sub 1 plus 3 times D equals 0. Now, since we don't have any coefficient after D, we have the port pattern as S sub 4 plus B S sub 3 plus C S sub 2 plus D S sub 1 equals 0 and continue this pattern. And this is the Newton sum. And we will use this to answer this question. And now to answer this, we just need the first three equations. Now, from based on the given, a plus b plus c, this is just our s sub 1. And a squared plus b squared plus c squared, this is our s sub 2. And the third one is our s sub 3. Now, using these three equations, we can now solve for the numerical value of this b, this c, and this d. So, let's have the first equation s sub 1 plus 1 times b equals 0. We know the value of s sub 1. This is given, which is 4. So 4 plus b equals 0. And it follows that b equals negative 4. So we now have the value of the coefficient of x squared. This is just negative 4. Now, to find the value of c, let's use the second equation. Now, let's replace all the given values. s sub 2, we know this is 10 b is negative 4, s sub 1 is 4, then plus 2c equals 0. Simplify, we have here negative 6 plus 2c equals 0. Add 6 on both sides, divide both sides by 2, we get that c is 3. So we now have the coefficient of x, or the value of the c. Now to get the value of d, we have the third equation. So let's replace all the given information. s sub 3 is 22, this is given b is negative 4, s sub 2 is 10, then c is 3, and s sub 1 is 4. Now, 22 minus 40 plus 12, this is just equivalent to negative 6. Now, add 6 on both sides, divided by 3, we get that b is equivalent to 2. Now, from here, we can now find the value of a raised to the fourth power plus b raised to the fourth power plus c raised to the fourth power because this is just s sub 4. So we need this fourth equation. Now from here, substitute all the given values. s sub 4, we need the value of this. But we have b, which is negative 4, 
we have S sub 3, 22, that is given. We have C is 3. We have S sub 2 as 10. We have D as 2. And we have S sub 1 as 4. Now, simplifying this, we have S minus 88 plus 30 plus 8. Negative 88 plus 30 plus 8 is negative 50. Add 50 on both sides, and we get S sub 4 equals 50, which is equivalent to A sub 4 plus B sub 4 plus C sub 4. And that is our answer to this question. Therefore, given these three equations and using two different methods, algebra method and the Newton sum, we get that the numerical value of a raised to the fourth power plus b raised to the fourth power plus c raised to the fourth power is equivalent to 50. And as always, we are done. And of course, don't stop asking questions because in asking questions, we discover. And if we discover, we learn. And in learning, we grow. So see you on our next video.